Welcome to the final video in this branding series. I'm going to show you how to put all of the brand elements you've created into this brand guidelines template, which if you haven't already gotten, you can get at designingtheroad.com slash branding. And if you've been following along, you have this document here filled out with all of your brand elements. So all you're gonna have to do is just copy and paste that into the Canva template over here. So you should have a call to action, a tagline, keywords, SEO description about your bio, your photos selected, your typography or your font pairing, and your color palette created. Let's put it all together, make it official, put it into these brand guidelines. Again, you can get this template at the branding link. I'm just going to dive in. I'm assuming that you have used Canva before, so I'm not going to go into a crazy, like, here's how to use Canva situation. I'm just going to quickly kind of show you how to customize it and make it your own. First things first, let's do the fonts and the colors. So you've picked your font pairing. Let's go here and I'm going to change them to my fonts. And you can see when I selected that font down here, it says change all. So if you do that, it will change anywhere it had that other font to this new font. Um, this one is already the font that I use. You can, if you highlight it and click this AA right here, it will um, make it not uppercase. Just style it however you've selected your font pairings and go through each page and do the same so everything is consistent. I made this so it's already <laughs> my brand fonts. So I don't think there's much I need to change. But go through, you can click through here and change all the fonts if you need to. Okay, so now let's do the colors. I'm going to come down here. Sorry if I'm scrolling too fast. I'm going to come down here to page nine and I'm going to put in my colors. Um, since I already have them saved to my Canva account, this is going to be really quick and easy for me. Uh, but just come over here to your brand document, grab your hex codes that you saved when you created your color palette and load them into here. So white is my first color. And then I'm going to pick gray, which again, these are my colors. And we're going to go like that. And then what you want to do is replace, let's see if I zoom in here, replace these actual hex codes that are overlaying on top of the colors. So that is already my gray. This here, I'm going to change that to black so you can see it. Just copying and pasting and then black is already black. Okay, so now we've got the color palette in there. What you should see when you like click on anything and click the color, you should see the document colors. So your document colors are now loaded in as your brand colors. So if you just go through the rest of the document and if you wanna change these grays and the whites to be whatever your branding colors are, you can definitely do that. If you open this up into the grid view, you can see what I've done here with the design is um, if this is the cover, then you open it up. You've got a blank page here on the left and the contents on the right. So there's kind of like little tabs on the outer sides. It, when you're looking at it, if it were to be printed as a book, which you can do here. So that is kind of the idea behind those little stripes on the edge. So you can change those colors if you wish. Um, this page might be another good one to change colors. And just come through and change the document colors so it is on brand for you. So that is our fonts and our colors. Everything is, is now on brand so far. Now we just kind of drag and drop in our information. So I'm going to put my feature image here on the cover. And then as you can see, that means I need to move this text around here. I'm going to make it white um, and design and situate that however you'd like. Uh, if you need to move your picture a little bit, just double click on it. Well, maybe. Uh, and you can highlight where you want it to crop. Okay. 
And I'm just going to quickly pick some pictures and drag and drop those in here. Um, unless you add or edit pages, then this contents in the page number should be good to go for you. And then all you have to do is just type, copy and paste, whatever you want to do into all these blocks to add in your own brand elements. So let's see here. That one's a little too close up. And then just copy and paste in your bio on this page. You can change the font sizes if you want, but I really think it would look very nice and cohesive if you just left the margins and the font sizes as I've got them. Let's see. Um, down here for photos, you can write a description of your photos. You can write uh, just kind of the overall scheme. If you remember when I had you plan out your videos, you came up with some, some rules and what you were really after for your photos. You can put that in here. And then this is just a grid of your final photos. Let's see. Just dragging and dropping. That one's a little skinny there. Um, pick a white one. Um, you can change the grids by going to elements and then coming down here to grids. You can just delete that whole grid and find one with the number of pictures and the, the organization that you like if you don't want to use this one I have. Okay, so let's go back to uploads. I drag and drop in a picture here typography again if you want to say like um designing your own brand uses sans serif fonts blah 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 however you want to explain your font pairing um, and then add in your font names here and then actually find them up here in the list so that they reflect uh, the font pairing that you have chosen and one little detail here, some of those Squarespace fonts, um, even though there's a million and one fonts that exist over on Squarespace and here in Canva, some of them don't cross over. So what I do is just find one that looks as similar as possible over here on Canva and stick to that for any social graphics or anything you make over here on Canva and your website will stick to those fonts over there. Just a heads up, you might not find your font here and that's okay just find something as similar as possible and then we've already got our colors loaded in here you can explain your colors if you like like how you envision yourself using them like what is going to be your your main color um, and what is going to be kind of just like thrown in here and there you can explain that here in the description and that is your brand guidelines if you zoom out you can see there we have a totally customized brand guidelines um, with all of your elements. It's kind of fun to look at when you see everything put together. Yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this series. I hope you've gotten something out of it and I hope you're really proud uh, of your brand guidelines and that it's something that you're confident in, that you're excited to move forward with and I can't wait to see what you've created. If you want to share what you've created, if you come up here to share, Let's see, view only link right here. Click that, copy, and you can share that with us in the comments so I can see what you've created and you can give inspiration to others. And I kind of quickly mentioned this earlier, but you can actually print this document. So as long as it has 10 pages, you hit this print button here, you can kind of go through and Canva will print and you can see free delivery here for 1050, you'll get um, the little bounding document, which is kind of fun. So that is the brand guidelines. Again, everything can be found at designingtheroad.com slash branding. And I just highly recommend that you use this kind of as your brand Bible moving forward. Anything that you create needs to stick within these guidelines so you can create that consistency and have that professional on-brand look everywhere that you show up online. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.